This is one of the most active fault zones in all of California. A 4.5 earthquake shook much of San Diego tonight. Good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson. The epicenter was here in Ocotillo Wells and was felt throughout the county. Our tennis reporter Cassie Carlisle spoke with an expert on what this means for San Diego. Geologist Dr. Pat Abbott says the 4.5 quake just after 3 p.m. was in the San Jacinto Fault Zone, a fault he says deserves more attention than its neighbor, the San Andreas. Actually, it's been carrying more of the load, if I may say so, than the San Andreas here. Just last month in the same fault zone, a 4.9 earthquake rattled Anza April 3rd, swinging lights and surprising this little girl. Since they were semi close to the same size 4.5 and 4.9 separated by a long enough distance I'm going to assume they're not connected in a in a immediate sort of a sense but he says they're connected in the big picture the Gulf of California is growing larger and if this is this Baja California and San Diego we're pulling away widening the Gulf of California in the five and a half million years we've pulled away like this and opened up the Gulf of California. And there's a small possibility the latest tear in the earth was a foreshock, meaning a bigger earthquake could be on the horizon. The, the answer is yes, would probably be within the next 72 hours, the next three days. If that does happen, Dr. Abbott says you're in the best place to be during an earthquake. These one and two story wood frame homes are excellent kinds of buildings to be in. They they can rock and roll a little bit. If a big one hits, he says, seek shelter. Making like a turtle, get something heavy over you, go dive underneath the kitchen table, go underneath the desk. And ride it out until the shaking stops. That's when Dr. Abbott says it's safe to check on your family so you don't get hurt. Cassie Carlisle, 10 News. The last earthquake in this area happened in 1968. That earthquake was a magnitude 6.5.